Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three and maybe a little bit easier way. And if you're a laser engraver, you can just stop watching. This will probably not help you, but if you're a plasma cutter, this can help you quite a bit. We've got, I've broken this apart. So if you haven't watched the first, second, third videos or parts of this, you need to kind of watch that. And you need to set your nudge factor on like a quarter of an inch, get your shape tool, and I've already broken these apart. So I'm gonna nudge over with the right arrow key one time. Now I've got this double line here. So you could do a number of things, but the easiest thing would be to do is take that one line, try to grab that node. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Grab that interior node and move it away. Grab that one. Whoop, I grabbed the wrong one. See, sometimes it's interior, sometimes it's exterior. Then just delete that node. Then, because you've got your nudge factor, click on that node and just put it right back. Now you have two complete different lines. And you can see there by, by doing that. So the plasma cutter would cut and not cut that line twice. Now, by the black boxes, just like in the video, we can see that there are actually two nodes there. They're not connected. So you need to do this one at a time and go right here and join two nodes. Now you got one node. Same thing here. Whoop. Join two nodes. And you could actually probably make a hotkey for this and save you a little time. But this would cut out really good on a plasma cutter. And let's try doing, I don't think we can do it all at one time and no, because it's got it blocked out. So we just need to join those two nodes. And I guess the reason because you can't join more than two nodes when you're trying to join two nodes. The only other thing I would question would be this one right here. And we'll just see if it's, yes it is, it's broken apart. Select them both, join two nodes. Now you've got a continuous circle. Now, for a plasma cutter, if you were going to just vectorize this, on a piece of wood, you don't need to do this. So if you're laser graver and you happen to still be watching, you just need to do what I did in the last video and, and draw a rectangle so big. Go ahead and go control D and make another one. And I, once again, I would use the control. So let's delete that one. Control D, hold down the control button so it's perfectly in line with the other. And just like in the video, just delete those two lines keeping your rectangles for the next letter, but I'm just going to delete them for the video. And this should cut these lines and cut out if you're going to cut them out of metal. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.